happy Sunday and more importantly, happy Easter. I've been awake for a couple of hours so far. I was getting up to do some more editing of things I'd recorded yesterday and the day before and the computer is glitching on the frame rate again. I don't know why. And that has also resulted in there being audio glitches, which as you can imagine is really very frustrating to listen to. I think what's happening is that because the frame rate is wrong, the audio is glitching as the frames catch up with themselves. But unfortunately, the computer administrator slash technical support slash husband is still currently asleep. So there's nothing I can do about it at this precise moment. There is another thing I have to do on my laptop, which is in that direction. Um, but of course, shiny, shiny internet, pretty much every other page on the internet is more interesting and exciting than what I actually have to do. So I'm going to try and put some headphones on, listen to some classical music. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't need to try and put headphones on. I know how to put headphones on. I am competent and capable of doing that. But yes, I'm going to put some headphones on, listen to some classical music and try and do what needs to be done. If you want an indication of how seriously I am taking Sunday morning, my caffeine is coming from tea, not Pepsi. All right, technically tea in addition to Pepsi. This mug here I bought from a company called Neon Sheep. They had them available in blue and green. And I think I preferred the green. It slightly reminds me of the Herdwick mugs, the Herdy mugs. Um, but yes, I bought it because I'm a knitter. And basically I can't be a knitter. Or it will be a lot more difficult to be a knitter without the presence of sheep and sheep wool. Yes, other yarns are available. I acknowledge that, but mostly I knit in wool, so I'm kind of a big fan of sheep. So for the majority of today, I have been completing a job application form, which is why I haven't recorded much. I haven't been down to the garden, haven't done anything particularly exciting or interesting. But for an hour this afternoon, I was taking part in a Zoom call where we had a quiz for the leaders who are going to be going to be going to Poland next year. We lost, our team lost. Can't remember by how many it was. It was quite short, but because it was done by a Zoom, by a Zoom, via Zoom, and we were playing with virtual backgrounds. James has rigged up this green sheet behind me, so it's on a clothes rack, which has then been supported with poles and cable ties. And this is what the green screen looked like from the back. There's the clothes rack. There's my very messy desk. Of course, I didn't realise what it looked like as I was sitting in front of my desk. James was doing all the clever stuff behind me. But yeah, when I saw quite how high it was and quite what it looked like from behind, that's actually quite funny. How close is that to the ceiling? Six inches or so? Whatever that is in centimetres. There is something mildly gritty and annoying in my left eye. I have... Given it a couple of eye baths, it's still slightly gritty and annoying, although not necessarily as bad as it was before. So I think tomorrow I'm just going to carry on with the eye baths and hope that whatever it is isn't going to turn into anything more annoying. And also not touch my eyes, because of course if your eyes are itchy, the overwhelming impulse is to go... <laughs> which of course doesn't actually help. Submitted the job application. 90 minutes before the closing, which is pretty good going for me. I had a friend, a friend, I had an email from a friend in Poland wishing me happy Easter and hoping that Covid didn't um, 
hasn't affected us too much, which was lovely and completely and utterly unexpected. And yeah, it's a pretty nondescript Sunday, really. Even even by lockdown standards, today has been pretty nondescript. Oh, and I also, yes, I also found out that James hadn't eaten all of the cream eggs, but had hidden them. But what I didn't realise is that we still also had two normal eggs left over, so I was denied my chance of dippy Easter eggs. Dippy eggs for Easter, not Easter eggs. First world problems. First world problems.